After that happens, we'll go through a couple of different procedures with the ground. We'll do what's called pushbacks, clearing out the lines between our prop farm and the vehicles themselves before we get to launch. Five minutes. Uh, and then in the next few minutes, we'll get the final guidance system alignments, some final thrust vector control on the booster checks, uh, and all that will be performed. And again, if we need to hold, we have a hold gate built in at T minus 40 now, seconds dudes. where we can hang out. Uh, it sounds like today we'll have about 15 minutes to hold at T minus 40 if we need to. Uh, if we hit that right now, it looks like the most likely reason would be winds. We're not tracking any technical issues to our T0 at 825 just Should about four and a half minutes here. from now. So, I mean, everything's really looking good. The, the yeah, booster's know, almost at full frosty, so we'll see that close out full in just frosty. a couple of minutes. But we are, we're getting really close to flight, guys. The excitement is definitely growing here uh, in Hawthorne, SpaceX headquarters. Oh, there is a large crowd sick. gathering. You might hear them cheering occasionally. Um, now, Dan men mentioned a good point about the holds. Uh, we have an opportunity to today hold for a few minutes. Um, and, and this is a really cool thing about Starship. And we don't have this opportunity with Falcon or Falcon Heavy. Um, up, into, up until the T minus 40 second point, Aborts are just holds. So anything that would trigger an abort prior to T minus 40 seconds becomes a hold. So that's a really cool feature to allow the team to wait for final checkouts or assess prop levels, engines, avionics, yeah. vehicle pressurization. It's really helpful to ensure a liftoff. Yeah, and, and that's something that is a little, that is very different from no. Falcon. I'm sure people have watched our launches and then See we that? get right down past engine prop load chill. and then have to scrub that because of weather or scrub chill, because dude. of an issue on the vehicle. And we don't have the Me same constraints on our propellant and our system with Starship, which gives us more availability in the window. And sometimes that's all you need. Sometimes the winds dip just enough where you can launch the rocket safely. And otherwise, if you didn't have that ability to, to hold a few minutes, you might miss that window and then have to recycle to another day. Yeah, exactly. Which is kind of like today, uh, like we mentioned earlier, winds are the thing that we are watching. So um, good news there. So we we are still continuing to progress. We're looking at liftoff in just under uh, almost two and a half minutes from now. Uh, super exciting. Like we said before, there's nothing more exciting than watching a test flight for a developmental program. And that's where we're at today. And like we talked about, we have some really ambitious goals for today's test. But really, the point of today's test is to try to get as much data as we can so we can inform the next iteration of the design of Starship, work those, in, those things into Already flight test one. number four and new objectives there that'll eventually get us to that glorious, Thanks. rapid, reusable future that we, we so badly want. <laughs> yeah, for flight day one, day. Hey, we wanted to clear right. the pad, and we did. For flight two, we wanted to get through hot Pre staging separation, done, and we did. So today, we want to get even further than that and collect as much data as we possibly can. So with all that being said, we're going to check back in with Dan uh, to take us through the final two minutes of terminal count. I wouldn't buy it. No, I have to wait for it. I don't know. Right. We are under two minutes away. Here we go. We are just, we have closed out the prop load on the booster oh, and on the okay. ship. Okay, double horns. Let's do this. Send it. And we're starting to hear some good news that it looks like winds are not going to hold us up. So there's a good chance we blow right through that 40 second hold. So we're about a minute and 20 seconds away. Just walking you through one last time, we're going to see the engines ignite about four seconds uh, before we hit our T0. They're going to ignite in three different banks. You'll get 13 of the inners, 15 of the outers, and then the last five ignite just two minutes before T0. And then after that, the quick disconnect will go. retract. The, the engines will start to throttle up, and then we'll see liftoff about a second and a half after T0. So we're under a minute away. Don't be shocked if we hold at 40 seconds before, but it sounds like the winds are cooperating today. And we'll be able to move right past that, not tracking any other technical issues that could Proceeding hold us. Proceeding past our cutie vent gate. We're past the hold. Holy crap. Two minutes, 30 seconds. Pass that 40 second hold. Go for launch. Flight Let's director Ty Huntington telling the team we are go for launch. 20. So 20 seconds to go. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Let's listen in. Two minutes, 
minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Fly, baby, fly! That's awesome! Oh my goodness! We got on boards! I'm gonna move out of the way. Oh my goodness! 30 seconds into flight, we oh, are program. feeling the rumble. We are seeing 33 out of 33 Raptor engines ignited Holy on the super heavy booster. Crap. Booster and ship, avionics, power, and telemetry nominal. Acquisition of signal, Corpus Christi. Continuing to get good call outs. Our trajectory Matthew. looking nominal, systems Matthew. looking nominal. Just Curtis. amazing to see all 33 lit up once again. At this point, we've already feet. passed through max Q, that power. maximum dynamic pressure. And passing supersonic, so we're now moving faster than the speed of sound. Getting those onboard views from the ship cameras. I got nothing to say. That's the coolest now the thing I've ever the seen. The next major milestone is going to be a hot staging maneuver. Again, we're going to be doing that in just about 90 seconds. To do that, we're going to shut down all but the three center Raptor engines on Super Heavy. That'll be our Miko, our most engines cut off. And then the clamps <laughs> holding the two stages together are going to release. Starship second stage will ignite its engines, the RVAX first. The sea levels right after that, the sea level engines will be splayed or just kind of pointed out at about a 15 degree angle. So if you look close, if we get good tracking, you might be able to see Call those center right, right after. <laughs> so okay. those six <laughs> engines will push Starship <laughs> off of the booster. Discovery, go at throttle up. Pierre, don't give to the sub, thank you. I gotta shut the alert off on this view. All right, counting down now, we're gonna be coming up Right at around the three minute mark on that hot staging maneuver. Again, we'll oh. see the booster engines start to shut down. You'll see all but three lights go out in the middle. And then we'll see the engines ignite on okay, ship, pushing go. it away. And that will start carrying the ship into space. Booster will start to do its flip back and then move into the boost back burn, setting it up Booster for eventual splashdown in the Gulf of Mexico. Stage separation. We've got good upper stage ignition. man holy shikies that's Top staging awesome confirmed dude booster's now dude. making dude. its dude. way back dude. seeing six engines ignited hell? on ship okay we got a starship on its way to space and a booster on the way back to the gulf oh man uh, i need a moment to pick my jaw up from the floor because these views are just Stunning. Bro, uh, these are live views let's go. from Starship. Uh, first stage is currently performing. Ship avionics, power and telemetry nominal. Good there. News informing us that the second stage or the ship, everything looking good, nominal there. First stage is currently performing the boost back the burn, line. expecting that to last second about one minute. That boost, back burn, uh, that boost back burn propels the booster back towards the oh. coast, taking it to a landing in the waters of the off. Gulf of Mexico. Holy uh, we're uh, only using the super heavy boosters, 13 center engines from here on out. Uh, as whenever they relight, you'll be able to see that in the left bottom corner. Uh, those are the ones that can gimbal. In other words, they move and change direction uh, in order to change the thrust to steer the first stage back to Earth. That was one of the freaking coolest things I've ever seen. Wow, and these are just incredible views coming to us. We ain't done yet. Ain't done yet. Everything is looking good for both the first stage on the left-hand side of your screen or the super heavy booster, as well as on the right-hand side of your screen. They're, that they're is Starship, or we also refer to that as the ship. Indian Ocean Minus. Now, the boost back burn uh, was the yeah, first know, of Olivia, two no, burns fine. required to return it's it cool. to Earth. 
The next one will be the landing burn, Very where all 13 center spot. engines will initially ignite and then transition into a three engine burn uh, to help slow it it's down. A uh, just as yep, a reminder of the on. stage one test objectives, uh, we're looking for controlled ascent, which we have so far, uh, yeah, stage separation, which gorgeous, we cruised right through it, uh, as well as on a nominal trajectory. Good news there telling us that the path that Starship is on uh, is good. Now Starship's second stage is still firing its engines and as you heard, following planned flight path, uh, the ship objectives, we're looking for hot staging, again, cruised right through that. We're looking to demonstrate controlled ascent as well as orbital insertion. Now the bottom right hand corner of the screen shows the ship uh, engine graphics, so be sure to keep an eye on those. Yep, Kate, like this is just a, a phenomenal test so far. Super Heavy is performing beautifully today. It's on its return leg of the journey. Ship continuing to burn its six engines, those larger circles, the Raptor vacuum engines, the inner circles, the uh, Raptor sea level engines. We're a, about 30 seconds away. Uh, just under 30 seconds away. From the start of the boost back burn, uh, excuse me, the landing burn on the booster. You can see the grid fins are rotating. That's impressive, so dude! The Holy crap! Guiding us through the atmosphere back towards our splashdown site. Again, we're going for a hard uh, for a splashdown, a soft splashdown. So for landing burn, we're going to expect to see the 13 center engines light rapidly bring down the booster's velocity, and then just the three in the center for... Come on, baby, down. land! Land it! Let's see if that'll work. The Griffin's working overtime, baby. Come on, you can do it! We're getting a few, a few engines. Some of them really... Oh, that's not good. Yep, that's the water. And acquisition of signal. Let's see if we can get some other video of that. Now, uh, this is a test objective today. It is still something that we're attempting to learn. Yep, that was the water. Um, and to make it that far <laughs> to demonstrate fast. the controlled re-entry up to that point is pretty darn good. Ship continuing to look nominal with its ascent burn. Oops. I got burn some of them. lasting uh, about six minutes total. She's and bad. we're expecting that this burn Almost will there. end. Uh, just after T plus eight minutes, about a minute from now. Yeah, so it. far though, I mean, I congrats to the team. Back. Making it this far is farther than, we, than we've gone Absolutely. on flight two. Just wonderful views and great engine performance Ship from the vehicles. Guidance. Terminal guidance, Starship's gone to closed loop as that's normal, that's good. So far we've hit controlled ascent. We're in the middle of that right now. We demonstrated the hot staging. Kate, as you said, cruised through that. Uh, we demonstrated the controlled site. entry of the, the booster. Just yeah. dropped a little short of the engine relay, but hey, that's something we can learn for the next one. Yeah, now that view that we just had moments ago was a live shot of Star Command. There you see it again. This is uh, our mission control center at Starbase, uh, where vehicle operators are standing by. Now the next milestone coming up uh, is in less than a minute. Uh, at that point, ship will or, I'm sorry, it actually it already has. Um, engine cut off. There we go. <laughs> Dude! Oh, that's awesome! Yes! As you invaded there, 26 by the and from the Yes! Yes! That's awesome! Starships, holy six crap! Raptor engines have successfully shut down. We heard a call out for nominal orbital insertion, which is incredible. Look at these views, Dan. What the actual heck is happening? Uh, I'm just completely blown away right now. Uh, what a day. Congratulations to the entire SpaceX team. I mean, this, this flight pretty much just started, but we're farther than we've ever been before. We've got a Starship, not just in space, but on its coast phase into space. Just to recap Holy where crap. we've come, and the, it's only been nine and a half minutes. How has it only been nine and a half minutes? We left it off right on time at uh, 8.25 a.m. We didn't have to hold at our gate at all. We had 
33 out of 33 Raptor engines open up uh, and light no, and get us through a nominal ascent. Another successful there, hot dude, stage. All it six might, engines on the it. ship propelling us into orbit. We did see a not a what looked like There's a nominal a boost back burn. In space. Uh, and then we did make it all the way to the landing what burn the this hell? time. It didn't light all the here. engines that we expected, and we did lose the boost.